Why is that Hawaii is the ultimate romantic destination? And I have a few ideas behind that. Um, I think first of all, when you get to the islands, from the moment you walk up the plane, there's this soft, caressing air that just boom, it just, it envelops you. And it's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm in a special place. And the island is just smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, you know, in a, disconnected from all parts of life. It just, it, it lives on its own, it breathes on its own, and it's out there. And there's a mystique about the whole thing, you know? The, the abundance of the nature, you know, like from the palm trees waving to the white sand beaches, to the dolphins frolicking, to the, to, to the people greeting each other in aloha, the, the local foods, the, the, just everything about it just percolates, vibrates, emanates this, this feeling of joy and, and, and romance. And I think when, uh, when the Japanese get off to the island, they leave behind their busy lives and their worries and all their things that make them you know, feel stressed and they get to the islands, it's like, oh, this is a time just to let it all go and just totally, you know, embrace the whole experience of the islands. And it's just, uh, there's just this mystique and this romance of the island. And I think people can take that, bring it within their selves and carry it for it home. A lot of people, after they have this romantic experience in Hawaii, it's like, oh, I gotta go back to Japan, back to work, back to all the challenges of life again. But I'd say it never ends. Once the experience of the island touches your heart, it's always there. And it's as close as uh, a breath away or a closing of your eyes and just remembering the, be the beauty of the islands and it lives with inside of you. Once you're touched with the islands, it's, it's always a part of you. So, and, and that goes with the aloha. It's, it's an, it, a forever experience. People can rekindle that fire that they have in the relationship by being in the island because it just, their guards are dropped down and they're just in this, you know, in this, this field of love and joy and it, it allows them to remember that place within themselves that they could um, have this openness with each other. And I think from swimming in the waters to, you know, trekking in the forest to, you know, um, it just it just opens pupils up to to feel that place of love within itself and then they can reciprocate that with their partners and i think it's a really good healing place for people to get you know um back to a place with the love that they have for each other you know take a break from their busy lives and, and remember this communion this connection that they have with each other and islands offers that place of romance